marketing misfits. Get ready for the ride of your life with Dean Holland in The Drive. Good morning, welcome to another episode of The Drive here. So, it is Monday, and uh, this weekend I was thinking about something. It followed on from uh, something I was saying to some um, customers and students about one of our programs uh, last week. Uh, and that, that is to think about, are you making it easy and simple for people to find you and follow you. So let me explain what I mean, right? So if I think back to when I first got started online, when I first discovered that people were making money on the internet, it was actually in 2004, but I didn't make any money or really experience any progress or anything really um, until the end of 2008. So you may wonder, well, you know, what was happening during that time then? Well, I was buying lots and lots of products. You know, I'd buy eBooks, video courses, software, plugins, all this loads and loads of different stuff, right? But when I think back on it, I wasn't, I didn't actually have anything substantial or tangible online. There was no presence, there was, there was nothing really. You know, I didn't have a blog like I have now. I didn't have a YouTube channel like I have now. I didn't have a Facebook page like I have now. I didn't have any active social media presence. So when you think about it, like, the way in which the internet and indeed the whole world really well, you know, the world as a whole, has evolved into the current day is now it's in a position where it is a very social environment. Now you only have to look over the last decade, the massive advances and an uprising, if you want to call it that, of social media platforms. You know, they, they have now taken over the internet. You know, uh, you know, billions and billions of people across the world are using social media platforms actively. And so, I mean, even if you think about television, like reality TV, social television, has taken the, the world by storm, right? You have talent shows, you have things like what we do here in the UK, like Big Brother, where they take members of the public and put them in a house and surround them with cameras for weeks on end. And people, people sit there fascinated just watching people live in a house. You know, and it's the same for your business. People like to follow people. You know, think about your own habits online, right? Do you follow other people? Do you follow, well, if you watch my daily drive videos, then to some extent that, that kind of emphasizes my point, right? Like what I do with my drive videos is I'm documenting, like I'm talking about topics. I'm sharing what it is that I'm doing in my company, Internet Profits, I talk about the lessons I'm learning, I talk about the experiences I'm having, I talk about the results, I talk about the, the things that don't work, the things that do work, you know, I'm just documenting my journey. And I make it very easy now for people to find me, whereas in the past, I didn't. And the way in which I view it, and why I even do these drive videos, and we do other things that we do for free, is to be able to basically have ways for people that don't know who we are, people that haven't yet discovered us, to discover us. Because only then can ultimately we have people that go on to become our customers and eventually go on to become our clients. It's because we provide them, oh, excuse me, <laughs> yawning on a Monday morning. <laughs> is because we now make it very easy for people to find us on multiple platforms. We put ourselves where our target market hangs out. I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, you know, I have a blog, I have this online presence and people can find me easily. People can then find out more about me. They can start to investigate 
and evaluate whether they want to do business with me. And some of those people will continue to do so and will continue to actually then go on to become paying customers and high paying clients of our premium programs. And so that's my message to you today is look at what it is that you have online. No matter where you're at in your business, if you're in the very early stages, right, you can still do all this stuff. Like, you can still document your journey, you know, have a blog or have a YouTube channel, have an online social media presence, and just document what it is that you're doing. Share. Share what you're working on. Share what you're learning. Share what you're implementing. Share what gets you results, whether they're good or bad results. Share what things you classify as a failure or things that, or the lessons you learned from the things that don't work out as you'd hoped. You know, just start documenting and putting this stuff online because this is the world now. This is the current state of the internet marketing industry is people are following real people. People follow people they can relate with and people trust people they can resonate with that they followed. And so you need to make it easy for people to find you easy for people to follow you and for people to evaluate listening to you and doing business with you okay and that applies whether you're an affiliate marketer or your product owner or your service provider make it simple for people to find you stop hiding online ultimately it's time for you to make your presence known um, so hopefully you enjoy that message uh, I'm actually not uh, ending up at the Internet Profits headquarters at the end of this drive because I've actually uh, uh, just had to pop somewhere else. So uh, I'll be heading to the office shortly, but wanted to actually record this while I was, it was fresh on my mind first thing on this glorious Monday morning. So with that said, thanks for watching us here on the drive. Have a great day, and I will, of course, see you again in another episode. Thank you for watching. Take care.